Hi again, friends. Today, we're practicing a restorative pose called bridge, supported bridge pose. So you've probably practiced this in a vinyasa class at some point. Um, bridge comes in lots of different formats. So as do all the poses. So you may find that it feels familiar. It's easy enough to practice this with a block and possibly in a regular class, that's what you've used. You can also practice with a stack of towels or this is just two yoga bolsters or you can use bolsters and I'll teach another version of this down the road where we use a couple of bolsters and we really get proppy. But today we'll just use the um, two blankets so that you can see the shape. So we place the blankets long ways across the mat and I'm gonna press, I'm gonna sit right in front of them, mana, and lift my hips, place my hips on the blankets, keep my knees bent, feet flat on the floor, open across the heart. So I'm rolling my scapulas under slightly, open the hands out and release the weight of the head, release the weight of the shoulders, and allow the flow of blood and fluid in the body to reverse. So you'll notice, obviously, my hips are higher than my heart. So I can feel the front body opening. I feel my dog barking a little. Eh. Come here, Ed. So when you're practicing this at home, your dog may bark too, or your child may need something. Ed, come here. And so we just go with it, right? Otherwise, we would never practice. Yeah, just come be with me, buddy. There's no, nobody here. Nobody's going out. So we just rest here, allowing this reversal in the body, allowing our dog to lick our eyeball. And <laughs> let your hands drop open. You can heel and toe your feet apart. Let your knees drop together if you like some support there. And just release the weight of the body downward. Staying here for a few breaths. Softening the shoulders, releasing the weight of the hips, feeling this very slight stretch in the low back because my blankets are quite low. But holding the space for yourself inside of this easy desert pose can be just the thing during this time of being shut in. So we allow our chin to come slightly more toward our chest and allow the mind to quiet. Watch the breath flowing in through the nose and out through the nose. Simply being here now. And see, people will walk through your house possibly even come say hello, you never know. Even though you're practicing something where you want to be quiet, life goes on when your house is full. So we stay in this interior space, allowing the attention of our mind to drop in toward our heart center. cycles here. And when you're ready to come out, you can just roll to one side, press into your top hand, slide off the blankets and come up. So Thank you for joining me today. That pose you can stay in for up to 15 minutes. It's very gentle and it's very forgiving because it's nice and low. So I hope you enjoyed it. I would love to hear from you. If you have any comments, feel free to drop them in or inbox me and I'm happy to answer questions. While we're all home alone, not so much alone, but home, 
um, it's good to stay in communication. So feel free to ask questions or open up a conversation about anything yoga. If I don't know the answer, I will find it. Hopefully, maybe, if it exists. Thank you so much for joining me today. See you tomorrow.